Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back. Jamie here today with Dylan. And we're going to be talking about Nightmare on Elm Street 4, the Dream Master, which was released in 1988, one year after Dream Warriors. Wes Craven had an idea for this film, but he wanted to involve like time travel and they didn't want to go for that, so he didn't have any involvement in it. Well, let's say, even without knowing the dates of this movie being released, you could tell it was an 80s movie from the oh, yeah. get go. From the get go, because we've got uh, the song Nightmare by Tuesday Night, and she also replaces Patricia Arquette. What is it you said last night? <laughs> you can't <laughs> kill her. You can't kill an Arquette, so you have to replace her. The theory does hold up, because I think like her career took off or something, she didn't want to do any more horror films. Which was weird, because she was only in it for like 30 minutes, it feels yeah, like. Yeah, I'd say half an hour or something. Because yeah. that's what but, they do, they just thought they'd kill off everyone from the last film, pretty much. Yeah, well, they do it very well, I think. But the film starts off and she's dreaming once again and she goes into, well, it's Freddy's house now. It was Nancy's, but, you know, it's Freddy's now. We see the tricycle come downstairs as well. you got to have the tricycle in there. And she pulls Joey and Kincaid into the dream, doesn't she? Because obviously she could do that in the last film as well. Which I thought was just funny, just the way Kincaid just like, I can't get my pure sleep, bitch. And then his dog comes in and just bites her, doesn't it? And takes a big chunk out of her arm. Yeah. My theory is, like, the reason why Freddy's coming back is he's, he keeps thinking he's coming back which gives him the opportunity to come back. Kristen goes to her friend's house and we get introduced to the, basically the main characters of this film, Alice and her yeah. brother Rick, who live yeah. with her alcoholic dad. And then like... That, yeah, that old cliche in a horror movie. Yeah. And who else we get introduced as well? It's Dan as well, and he's like the jock or whatever. Yeah, and uh, oh, the, the geeky friend. There's two friends. other girls. Yeah, the geeky friend and then and the other girl who works out. I don't remember their names. We don't really matter about their names, really. No. Main characters, Alice, Rick, her brother, and Dan, because Alice and Dan get together, don't they? And then what, Kincaid falls asleep, doesn't he? Wakes up in the scrapyard from the last film. Suddenly he's pisses off yeah, Freddy. He's named Jason as well. <laughs> so they've been setting up that match for a while. Yeah, they've been setting up for a while. So and what, the, the dog just dig, digs up uh, Freddy's bones. Does not dig up just pisses fire on it? No, don't eat. He's scratching at him first. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that's he pisses it, the he... fire. Yeah, it pisses yeah, the fire. The and that's what brings. Up. Yeah, that's what brings Freddy back. I read before online, James Cameron was talking with the director and they must have been friends or something. He's like, so how does Freddy come back in this film? And he's like, the dog pisses fire. Like, like, but it's like, like pissing on, on like his actually where he's buried in real life. It's just in the tree. Yeah, true. Which... No, it makes even less sense. Yeah, it does. It makes no sense. It's... He kills Kincaid, which is sad because I love Kincaid. But <laughs> yeah, I, I love this line. You know, I'll see you in hell. Tell him pretty safe. And straight from there, he goes to Joey's house, don't he? Joey's asleep. And with the teeth with this boy? Boy, he's thirsty! <laughs> he falls asleep, don't he? And he, the, uh, no, he looks at his poster first of the woman, doesn't he? With yeah. the bikini or whatever. And he falls asleep and she's gone off the poster and she ends up inside his... Well, he had a water bed to begin yeah. with, right? He had yeah, a water yeah, bed, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she ends up there and, you know, he's like, oh, come back. And then all of a sudden, Freddy just pops up. And he's like, how is this for a wet dream? <laughs> yeah. That's the movie where Freddy just went off the rails. It's kind of like, you True. love it. You just yeah. love it. You gotta love it. It's so corny, but it's funny as well. Like it's you said, it's Robert pure England. 80s. I feel like it's just Robert England. It's just, it's true, just true. Yeah, he's completely like, embraced that role at this point. Yeah. It's just more time spent with the new characters, isn't it? I think it's a mistake killing Joey and Kincaid earlier. I think they should have kept him around. Like, well, it longer. sets up Crystal, does it? Not Crystal. Kristen, Kristen yeah, yeah. yeah, when she sees like the god, what seems to be a uh, factor in Freddy's powers is fear. And since she's the Dream Master, she has a lot of power. Like, he's feeding off of that. Like, the more she fears, the more powerful he but yeah, she's in school and she, and she knocks her head. <laughs> Which yeah. is just, I hate when films do that. When someone just pushes you, it's like, boom, straight. Oh, no, my head. Oh, no. Out. <laughs> no, maybe maybe then, like, she could have skated said. from exhaustion after seeing like, two of her friends have died or someone told her. Yeah, true. I like how she cliche. assumed it. Like, oh my god, they're dead. And so I'm like, nah, mate, they both just got the flu. And then no, no, she about wakes you. up. And it's Robert yeah. England and Drag dressed up as the nurse. <laughs> yeah. Well, you take, you take a minute to sort of. Because I, I thought, oh, is this just like a weird cameo that he's doing? And then they go to Nancy's old house, don't they? And they just stood outside. And before they do anything, her mum drives up and she's like, oh, get away from that house. And you get that shot. It just looks like Halloween. Like Michael Myers is literally in the house looking out at him because that is identical. <laughs> yeah. And I just love how, like, I've always thought that house was Freddy's house. Like, it was just where he did the murder or whatever. But, but I mean, you spent more Nancy's time house. there now. Yeah. It's not Nancy's anymore, though, is it? Oh. She's long gone. <laughs> It's Freddy's house now, he's took control. Yeah. But yeah, Kristen, uh, her mum drugs her, don't you? Yeah. Which, again, like, is this, how long do you think this is in the film sequence? It's between part three and part four. It's got it to be like, what? It has to be a year. A year? 
Yeah. But still, it just seems like her, Kincaid, and Joey are all like inside there. They went through this shit, and then it seems like a mum's just like not yeah, mum just it. doesn't care because you don't she care. Don't care. Of that in, in the third movie, you know what I mean? Last movie. True. Well, you no... think after all that, and like I don't, I don't know. But well, she just mentioned like you know we've been going through therapy and all that. But no one True. believes her about yeah, Freddy. Yeah, no one believes like, her. How do you explain all the people dying at the end? Like, especially Nancy as well. Like, wow. It's like she was suicidal or anything, was she? But yeah, she ends up falling asleep because she gets drugged and this is where you get that fucking... Oh, she's on the beach and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and Robert and Freddy comes over and puts his sunglasses on. <laughs> yeah, baby. And then he just fucking kicks it down into the sand, doesn't he? Oh, that dude? was the funny shit. But, oh, this is a pretty cool death. So yeah. Drop where it stands. Nope, just sends it. Sends it to the boiler room, doesn't it? Yeah. No, it said, she goes into oh, like, no, the, the dining house. room. Yeah, she's crawling on the roof, isn't she? At the yeah, house, which is really all yeah. lovely effects. I think really hmm. cool. Then they go into the boiler room, and he's like, you're Elmstream's last rat, and he's about yeah. to kill her. And she pulls Alice into the dream. Yeah, but I think, Fred, I think Freddy's trying, Freddy's taunting her to bring someone in. Yeah, because he wants more victims. But he, like he says, she is the last of the Elm Street kids, isn't she? Yeah, because like it's clearly none of none of the other people on this in this franchise are on Elm Street anymore. No, I'm surprised people still live on Elm Street. To be honest, at this point, <laughs> she transfers the power into Alice, doesn't she? You yeah. gotta like swap all of shit. <laughs> yeah, like, no, because like Freddy throws her into the boiler. Oh yeah, she starts burning. I thought she dies and she she gets burned yeah, alive. Yeah, like she goes, yeah. oh Alice, you're gonna need my power. But then after that, it's oh, she yeah, she's on fire and she and they go to a room and she's yeah. dead basically. And it's straight from there to cut right to the next scene. It's just tombstones of Nansa, Kincaid, Kristen, Joe. All probably... Leitney. Yeah, right next to each other. Like come on, like how much space do you have here? Like did no one die in between them? I, I, I think they just have like a whole plot made for the Elm Street kids. Maybe, maybe, yeah. yeah maybe we should <laughs> like, oh, these are starting to stack up now. Let's just put them yeah. all together. <laughs> we get the um, classroom scene, don't we? we well, the first one, we get a few classroom scenes, to be honest. But this one's where it's, I forgot a character. So she's got the inhaler, I want you. Yeah, but we asleep, see, we, we see earlier on that she gives the. Uh, she's like, because the other friend hates bugs. He's playing like a little device because this place badly. Oh yeah, the device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks more like a fucking bomb. But it was just. Oh my god! <laughs> what is the, what's the device? It kills bugs or something. I think it's like a sonic. Like it sends bugs away. Like it sounds like a high friction noise. I don't know. But it does look like a bomb. Yeah, it looking like. <sighs> but wait. So does the nerd fall asleep? On I always falls asleep, and then she pulls the nerd into the dream, doesn't she? Yeah, but like if they're both asleep in class, because they're correct looking me at each other, aren't they? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. When I was in school and when I fell asleep, I got woke up quite a lot by the teachers. Did you True. have that in? Yeah, but maybe like this is an exam. Maybe it's just a na like a minute sleep. That's all. I mean, this yeah, seems not that, that long, does it? it? Oh no, no, because Alice daydreams a lot, doesn't she? Yeah, so you, it's more of a daydream then. Yeah, so maybe that's it. Like that, yeah. I think that's one of the main reasons why she's able to take on the powers because like, she daydreams. But then Freddy takes good. He's basically the teacher, and, and he comes over to her, and he's like, "What do you want to suck face?" And he just he sucks the air out of her completely. Like, but yeah, she's dead as well. And then we go from there. What they're at the diner, aren't they? It's Alice and Dan. Yeah, and they're talking. And she's about... saying like Freddy can't get to any new people and stuff. And yeah, but she that's also she's using. She does, I don't know what was this scene or later or earlier on where she she just doesn't want to work forever. Oh yeah, she wants to wait because that comes back later. Yeah. On. yeah. yeah. I do like this diner. I do like it. I always like those like old timey diners. Like, yeah, the, uh, you know. it does look nice. Uh, like to go down and get a milkshake or something. Yeah. <laughs> Robert Shader producer, he's the teacher as well. Like he'll click a little cameo, yeah. which is cool. And then, like you said, the uh, Rick falls asleep on there. Wait, what happens? Did... I forgot what happens. Here. Don't he go to a toilet or something? No, yeah, he's, he's in. He, he's in. Yeah, he's in the shower. He just has an argument. No, he doesn't have an argument. His friend has an argument in the uh, locker room. Or yeah, the about. locker room. Yeah. And then he, I think he's in the bathroom and he falls asleep while he's on hmm. the pilot or something. And then all the THA leaders come in, don't they? And yeah, and doing... Alice is there. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm like, yeah, that's not weird. Your sister not, just come yeah. in while you're on the job. <laughs> you know? No one won't do anything about that. And he's teleported to that room in a, with Invisible Freddy. Yeah. <laughs> Which he's is, just fighting. He's like a true ninja, does not need his eyes. <laughs> and then he starts kicking his ass. Yeah, and then you see he's just a glove guy, yeah. Like no, because he kicks, he kicks his glove off. And then he dies because the fucking glove just comes flying at him. Yeah, but I think maybe like his fear was like because he was, he couldn't see he was fighting, so he couldn't win. 
And then what the funeral straight after and he just gets out the coffin is like it was just a joke. Like, oh, <laughs> you're like, it's just a prank bro, and then he goes, It was just a joke. <laughs> it's just a, I said that, I was like, oh, it's just a prank bro. It's gonna yeah, come out. And then he actually says it. It's I'm like, like oh, <laughs> is it this the next scene she's eyeing with her dad? Oh yeah, and his the dad's like, You're all got left, don't we? Yeah. And then she goes upstairs and we get up um but she starts taking the pictures off the mirror, doesn't she? Get it? She finally she sees herself. She starts using a nunchucks and you get that shot from the back. It's clearly someone else with a wig on. It's not her. <laughs> does she fall asleep here or what? Because she goes to the cinema, doesn't she? Or is this... Does she actually go to the cinema and then fall asleep? No, I think she, fa no, she falls asleep here because she wakes up in the bed. No, but she goes to the cinema, doesn't she? Yeah, in a dream. Right, yeah. So she falls asleep in a bed and then that's the dream, right? Yeah. yeah. And then she gets sucked into the screen. No, but I don't think she? we noticed that she fell asleep. I think it just cuts the hair. That's why I was confused. Yeah, that's why I was confused. Because it, it, it shows you what's on the cinema done it and then she goes and gets yeah. the ticket and just walks in yeah, gets sucked into the screen you see all the dead characters clapping from the stand which i thought was pretty cool yeah and you get like a really good black and white shot of like the old diner and that and they go back True. to the now i just thought of this because then she goes into the diner and it changes an old version of herself yeah what if she took a bit of west craven's idea because that's time travel in it yeah that's her in the future i think that's like the the limited portion of time travel i don't know how how you done time travel with Freddy? Would they've gone back to when Freddy was first killing and tried to stop him from like being burned know. alive? No idea. I'd, I'd look for the script. I don't know if he actually wrote the script or he no, just had the through, idea. No, through through dreams they time travel. I think it would have made for an interesting thing. Yeah, I think I think, I think it's, it's an interesting concept. Yeah, like she sees her older self, does it? Just... Yeah, she's like, well, like you said before, she's not gonna wear her forever. And then Freddy's yeah. looked. He gets the pizza done there, and it's filled with like the faces of the people. Yeah, he starts eating them. And he's like, bring me more. Because like right. we said, he can't kill any of them without Alex. That's what I think with the series, like the, the rules and the shit, it changes film to film, when it? There's no consistency, really. There's a consistency to be bullshit. That is it. True. But and then I guess because you're dealing with dreams, it's not, it's not logic anyway, is it? So yeah. you can't really, you know. The workout girl. Memory. Yeah, the workout girl, yeah. And she, what song's yeah. playing? Another good song playing here, I think. And it, like we said, the film's... Filled the soundtrack, we got us off. Yeah, it's filled, but it's so good. The soundtrack's so good. Anyway, the girl's working out, isn't she? And Freddy snaps her arms with the bar. And then yeah. it starts fucking growing. Because she's afraid of insects, isn't she? Or bugs yeah, or or bugs or whatever, yeah. Yeah, and she starts turning into a bug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, really good effects. Really cool. But I'm like, woman, you now have like at least eight or six arms. Get Freddy's ass! <laughs> yeah, but she's trapped in the thing, isn't it? Because what's, what's what the thing for, bro? Oh, well, oh yeah, Roach Motel. Roach Motel, that's it, and he just squishes you it. You check it in, just... <laughs> you don't check it out. Again, more time travel. As you know, she wakes up and goes to uh, Dan to meet them, and then they just keep getting caught. Oh, yeah, getting game. into the trap. Even though it's a dream. Coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, could, you could sort of theorise that as like, the it time. It happens like four or five times, doesn't it? Yeah, when we were first watching it, I thought like the, the film skipped back. I'm like, oh, yeah, right, okay. and it happens again, you're like, oh, all right, okay, uh, okay. All <laughs> I see right. what you're doing. like the internet's... <laughs> yeah, it's like the yeah, internet, no, no, it's fine. You think she's hitting Freddy, but then she hits it true. Yeah, and then Freddy giving a finger as well. I think he's just <laughs> stood in the middle of the road. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Dan crashes, he gets taken to the hospital. Yeah, she's trying to make sure he doesn't get put under. Yeah. That's where he's going to get her. Get mm -hmm. him. And it, that's where we get the montage, and she puts like the headband on of her brother. She's got no, she the, puts uh, on her wrist. Oh, she puts on her wrist, yeah. She's got like the metal studded thing. Yeah, she's got like the weird device. The bomb, yeah. No, it's she... full on 80s. It's cheesy, but it's good. You got all Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, I, I get the symbolism with them um, because it's mentioned earlier. She has like a, a mirror full of pictures of her friends and that. And yeah, and she like... never can see herself. What's the point yeah. in the mirror? Yeah. yeah. And this, this, this is a sort of like that sort of scene like, oh, I see myself now. I'm stronger and more confident. And, and she just jumps through the fucking thing and goes to the hospital. <laughs> And then what, from the hospital, I mean, Dan gets resuscitated or something, doesn't he? So he's alive. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I thought, he, like, when I first saw that, like, he saw Blue from just like, oh, he's dying, like, in the hospital, so the, the Emperor back here, or whatever. He's, like, mm. he's gonna die before Freddy kills him, so maybe he gets away. And then I told him he managed to bring him back. Yeah, and he's like, oh, put me back on, though. And then they, they fall into the church, don't they? But then he say, like, I'm guarding my gate. Or I got my gate. No, but like, the first line is like, Welcome to Wonderland, Alice, or something like that. Yeah, welcome to Wonderland. Which yeah, I'm yeah. surprised they didn't make more Alice in the Wonderland in this movie. Oh, they're doing the next one. Yeah. I remember the next one now. <laughs> <laughs> and she, what, she starts beating Freddy up on the show because she's got the powers now. Again, this is what I hate about Freddy movies. Like, it's no consistency. Like, no, but he's just okay. selling it, though. He's just letting her pretend, isn't it? Because then oh, yeah. she, she burns the hole through Freddy, doesn't she, with the bomb device? That's it. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah, ghost like, she, 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 or whatever. She pulls out, like, wires. 
Yeah. All right. Okay. This is very clearly <laughs> made in the eighteen hundred. As working guy, funny. And she just plugs the ear. I literally said, "What is this Ghostbusters now?" True. The electrical beam shoots right through Feather, and then he says, "I am eternal." And then yeah. she gets the mirror, shows and then him the she reflection. Remembers the the uh, because the kids are singing the song, aren't they? they oh yeah, they're up in the rhyme. top, aren't they? Or yeah. Yeah. She's just like. I don't even know if it's a mirror or just a piece of glass that's reflecting. Like a, yeah, and it reflects. Like... And if this is real good effect when all the souls start coming out of Freddy's oh, chest yeah. and he pins him to the thing. You get the one out of the head as well and it just starts pinning him back. Yeah, but you get like all the like little ones trying to grip his mouth. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, his yeah. mouth. And then they're all free and they all just fly out the window. They're all yeah. they're all free. And it cuts to the end on it. It's Alice and Dan, like, however time later, they're out of wishing well fouling. And she sees Freddy's reflection. And then that's how the film ends. It sets up one, but it also sort of leads you into like that could be the end. I mean, they do set up like it's like we've seen it throughout it because we were getting this confused part five with the bike, weren't we? Because his bike's yeah. in that pickup truck yeah, throughout the whole like fucking film. Yeah, like that you say, like just the one with the bike because I know it's a big bike scene. Yeah, I mean it was there. I mean I guess they you know they set it up for the next one. I don't know if they had the idea at this point or what, but the bike was there. The overall score you're gonna give Nightmare. Oh, cool. like, this this is I, I will get this one an eight. An eight. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Like, I could watch this again. This film, like, it's just so funny. You no, know, it's got some action. It's a little, mm. little silly at times. You know, I think, I think eight, solid eight. I'll, I'll go with seven. It was good. Obviously, Robert England's, you know, comedic, so good. He's obviously. I mean, at this point, you're not going to be scared of Freddy anyway. I like. There's no point. The fourth one is like the series. You know. Yeah, well, this he definitely is... jumps the shark later on, but this yeah. sort of toes the line a little I think, bit. I think, I think this is this is the point where it's like, okay, we're no longer watching it to see Freddy get killed, we're just watching Freddy see funny lines. Yeah, true. You know, and they... then they go overboard with that in the next one, the one after. And make sure you like and subscribe if you're new. Check out Dylan's social links down below. Next week, Nightmare on Elm Street Five, Dream Child. Until then, peace out in a bit.